The Philippine Navy is set to have another vessel from South Korea, which does not pertain to the new builds that were categorized as the Jose Rizal class frigates. This article pertains to a vessel, once in service with the Republic of Korea Navy, gets its way to the Navy inventory, which in itself is a plus to the capabilities that this service branch needs to keep up to its operations. The BRP Conrado Yap as provided in multiple media outlets, is considered the recent addition that the Philippine undertakes on its desire to modernize its seat further, as part of the organization's sail plan initiative, where other projects include the Jose Rizal class frigates, and perhaps the ongoing plans on submarine procurement, wherein the latest preferred supplier may come from the country of France and Europe. Apparently, it is considered the most capable ship that the Philippine Navy obtains as of the current date, wherein it obtains the military weaponry that other vessels including the Del Pilar class Osher patrol vessels do not obtain. Hence, its current designation as a key Philippine Navy AG ship isn't that surprising at all, given its weapons packed power that deems its capability. Still, then, one may be said that it is still a far cry to the necessary requirements that the Philippine Navy needs on a eat, but nevertheless, obtaining them may serve as a plus, now that the service branch is at a phase of having several of its World War II vessels putting into decommissioning, actively having these ships out of service. The weapons and sensors fit that it will be a bit dickle to discuss regarding the ship's reputation as a most capable one within the Philippine Navy, without taking consideration the weapons T installed on board the ship itself, that makes it considered as such, not to mention the idea that obtaining them is more than what other ships obtains currently, including other main combat vessels available in the inventory, such as the Del Pilar class Osher patrol vessels and Jacinto class patrol corvettes. The BRP Conrado Yap, even way back to its Rocks Chungyu days, obtains a weapons T of 276mm Odo Malara main primary gun, both to its bow and stern portions of the ship, facing both forward and backward portions of the vessel respectively, which goes reminiscent of the old gunship days with larger guns. Obtaining such many main guns in an individual ship is something that the Navy obtains recently, which goes directly from other vessels, especially both the Del Pilar class OPVs and Jacinto class patrol corvettes, also obtain such type of 76mm Odo Malara guns, although it is limited to the boat portion of the ship, which goes to the norm of Ting main guns on the current date. Take note also that the Jose Rizal class frigates will also obtain an advanced version of such a gun, where the two aforementioned units in the Philippine Navy are also limited to the ones situated in the bow. By retaining it, the ship may obtain additional repower in terms of obtaining such guns, which is ideal for providing support upon the necessity of such a feature. The Philippine Navy is now getting itself more improved as more and more naval assets come and that goes in line to its desired sail plan initiative that aims to have a credible naval force that operates within the national jurisdiction where it safeguards the protection of the country's national interest at sea. With the entry of BRP Conrado Yap, PS39, to the EAT, the Navy is now getting its anti-submarine capabilities regained even further, where it may serve as a training platform that is in itself an essential step for the EAT to have its personnel hone the skills. Such skills are needed before an intended assignment into one of a future Philippine Navy ship, such as a Jose Rizal class frigate, or even on two additional Pohang class corvette as planned with similar facilities employed with the BRP Conrado Yap, and eventually the future corvette acquisition project that may obtain the same DNA as the Jose Rizal class frigates. Given these new developments, one may go ascertain that the Philippine Navy is growing its capabilities more, along with the other military branches within the armed forces of the Philippines, where all of these service branches share together the primary aim of having a minimum credible defense posture that the country needs in protecting its citizenry and national interest.
At the end of the day, the BRP Conrado Yap serves as another major step for the Philippine Navy to have where there will be more ships entering its seat that provide similar or additional capabilities than what this ship, once named the Rocks Chungju having currently wherein like any other acquisition in the EAT, the ship will embody the crew that serves with it and the service branch they represent, which they are keen on protecting the country's waters with more hulls to join up the fray and cope up to the instilled duties and responsibilities as the primary defenders of this beloved.